there beautiful people welcome back to another video and welcome to my channel if you're new hi my name is Femke and in today I will be doing another butterfly design because ever since I lost my daughter I feel like I need butterflies everywhere on my nails in my clothing in my hair whatever <laughs> But today I am partnering up with Hey Happiness. They actually sent out beautiful earrings to me. I was able to pick them out myself. And of course, they are butterfly ones. So I actually got two sets, two little like hoops with dangly, super sparkly butterflies on them. I totally am wearing them like 24 seven ever since I got them in. Same goes for the little stud earrings. These are tiny butterflies as well with beautiful crystals. These um, like earrings or at least all of the jewelry that Hey Happiness sells is fully silver. So they're really, really durable. You can wear them as I mentioned 24 seven and I have got a ton of their beautiful um, necklaces as well which I've worn for months already. But if you are new to my channel and you haven't subscribed yet, I would really appreciate it if you would like to do so. Hit that notification bell as well so you know whenever I post a new video. But let's just start off with the nail design because as I mentioned, I just love anything butterflies at the moment. You can tell by the right hand nails as well. I've gotten some questions on that if I want to do like a how-to video or tutorial on that um, I might do so with like a practice hand or like practice nails or something like that because I'm not going to redo my own nails um, so yeah I'm just thinking about it and also figuring out when to actually schedule it in because I am planning on doing like spooky Halloween videos for spooktober which is coming up really soon but for this butterfly inspired design, I already went in with one of my favorite base coats by PJR Care. Um, those are like a Dutch brand. I love them so, so much. I have a discount code if you want to use that. Um, I'm not sponsored or paid or anything whatsoever. Just check them out. They're really, really good. And I am going in with a good, like generous layer of this beautiful Catrice polish. This is from their new like Iconils collection update for this fall winter 2022 i still have to swatch all 16 new colors bear with me i'm trying to squeeze that into my planning as well but i'm not sure if i will be able to do so before spooktober starts if you know what i mean or i might even just put it in spooktober itself because there are a ton of beautiful colors in here that are really suitable for halloween and just like spooky festivities as well but yeah, this color is really gorgeous. One of my favorites from their new collection update as well. Then I just really wanted to add some like shimmer, sparkle and so on because butterflies, they're just such magical creatures. And yeah, I just really wanted to like translate that onto the nails as well. So I'm going in with this beautiful orly polish. This one was sent out to me through a PR company, but it's been ages ago, so I don't really know from what collection this one is, but it is a super shimmery, like iridescent kind of polish. Um, you can definitely layer it up and make it work completely opaque with like two to three coats. I actually wore that polish on my toes while giving birth to my beautiful daughter as well. So yeah, I pretty much cling on to this polish because I have like very vivid memories like attached to it, but I'm just going to use it today like a little swooshy kind of swirl onto the nails. Of course, you can totally freehand this like I did as well. It really doesn't matter. If you are going to recreate this design, definitely let me know on Instagram or here at YouTube. And yeah, what is a nail design without any glitter? Like glitter is my middle name. I have so many pots of glitter and I just saw this one. It really spoke to me. It like stood out in the ocean of glitter pots that is in my nail room. So I'm just going to dunk out just the smallest amount on one of my little plates. And I am going to add two drops of the PJR Care Mirror Top Coat. This is just a super shiny, but also very fast drying top coat if you are not super like 
skilled into mixing glitter and working with it really fast just go for a regular top coat because fast drying ones are not your friend if you're only starting out doing nail art i actually have a video on like five techniques on how to use loose glitter it is one of my oldest videos but it is still watched really frequently so if you want to learn about how to work with loose glitter especially just using regular nail polishes because i know like glitter is used with gel and acrylic so much but a lot of you out there really don't like to work with that and only use regular nail polishes just check out that video it's really easy to find it um, just search on my channel for like loose glitter and I'm sure you'll find it. I've done a couple of different videos, but the one with the five techniques is, um, I think, the most handy because you can just pick whatever technique works best for you. But while that is drying, you just want to make sure you clean off your plate and your dotting tool or any tool that you have used to actually apply the glitter to your nail. I just applied it like kind of swooshy around the early nail polish swoosh that I just applied. Of course, I have waited a couple of minutes before going in with that glitter mix, um, not to like dent the polishes or anything like that. And while that is drying, I was actually able to pick out the butterfly that I wanted to use for this nail design. But first, I'm just going to show you one because I've got some random ones. I think I got these at AliExpress or something. I'm not quite sure. Um, you have like some resin ones, acrylic plasticky ones, but you have some metallic looking ones as well. Um, these are fully 3D, so um, they are a little bit difficult to work with when you only use regular nail polishes like I'm doing in this this video as well but you can definitely make it work and make the butterfly last as well so what you want to do is just apply a generous layer of your preferable top coat um, i'm just going in with the fast drying mirror top coat again by pjr care just apply a thick layer grab your little butterfly either with one of the wax tip pencil tools that i am using at the moment or maybe even some tweezers or maybe you can just place it by hand whatever like floats your boat whatever you have laying around or whatever is handy for you to be honest and while the top coat is still wet i decided to go in with a couple of ab crystals these are actually sizes i think it was the ab ss4 and ss5 so those are a little bit more of like on the smaller side when it comes to rhinestone sizes um you can go up like really high like ss20 for example is quite quite big but I didn't want to like go super big so um, I think it looks more delicate and just more mystical and just oh really pretty with smaller rhinestones don't go too big because like the shimmer isn't big of course the glitter isn't super chunky either and of course you don't want to like take away any um, like beauty from the butterfly as well so I just added a couple, you can just place them wherever you feel like it. Once again, there are no rules to nail art and you don't have to be a nail art ninja to create really pretty nails. And this is just something that came to mind when I was wearing the earrings I got by Hey Happiness. So yeah, I just felt like it really suited the earrings, it suited my personality as well as what I think my daughter's personality would have been if i was able to keep her on earth but yeah thank you guys so much for watching i do have a discount code from hey happiness if you're interested they have some really beautiful quality pieces out there but yeah once again thank you so much i love you so so much and i hope to see you in my next video